For today's video, I am going to share with you step-by-step -step the Yao rice water method from how to make it, from how to apply like a pro so that you can start your journey of five feet long hair. Don't forget to share some love to this girl by liking this video and let's make some rice water. The way you're gonna make this rice water hair growth method is quite simple. First step you need to know is that Yao women only use white rice for this hair washing method. The specific one that they recommend is sticky rice. However, if you don't have this type of rice right now, no worries, any other white rice is acceptable. Now that you have some white rice on your power, let's move on to second step which is calculating how much rice and water you are going to cook. Here's the thing, none of the documentaries I've found, y'all women share how much rice they use for this hair growth recipe. So at the end, I washed two cups of rice with 10 cups of water. However, before you're gonna start washing the rice for this method, make sure to clean the rice with some water first to remove any dirt and impurity from it. All right, now that your rice is clean, it is time for the third step, which is washing the rice with water. So go ahead and add the 10 cups of water to the clean rice. Now you're gonna begin the washing process, which is basically rubbing the rice between your hands under the water for three minutes so that you can extract all the properties from it, such as inositol, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants from the rice to the water. Once your rice water has this milky color, we're gonna move on to the fourth step, which is extracting the water from the rice. All you need for this hair growth method is the water from the rice, not the actual rice. So all you're gonna do is to carefully extract the milky water into another container. You can use a strainer at the end to make sure no grains fall into our precious water. Now that you have this first batch of rice water, the fifth step is adding citrus peels to the mixture. Citrus peels are gonna help to keep the fermented rice water less stinky. Each Yao family has their own secret ingredients for the rice water recipe. However, I found one recipe that is quite simple and it only uses orange peels. So for this exact amount of rice water, I end up adding two orange peels to the recipe. Let's move on to the sixth step, which is cooking the rice water. Simple as it sounds, all you're gonna do is to mix the orange peels and the rice water in a pot, then turn on the stove to medium heat, and now allow the rice water to boil for 10 minutes. When time is up, carefully place the rice water again in a large bowl so that the mixture cools off before you store it. And now that your rice water mixture is quite cold, the seventh step is preparing the rice water for the fermentation process. This first batch of rice water makes up for two days of application if you have long hair or three days of application if you have short hair. So all I'm doing right here is storing four cups of rice water into a sealed container first. And once I'm done storing the rice water into single containers, make sure to add some orange peels to it because it gets a little bit stinky. Now that I have my 2.5 gallons of rice water, nice. which is the amount that I need for the 7 day rice water challenge, it is time to leave to ferment. The way Yao women ferment the rice water is in barrels. However, I don't think you have a barrel, do you? So the alternative way is storing your rice water in a cold dark place like a kitchen cabinet for a minimum of 3 days which is the recommended time before you start applying the fermented rice water on your hair. The following step is the application of the fermented rice water on your hair. Yao women said that they wash their hair with rice water every three days during summertime and once a week during winter time. They do not use shampoo or conditioner when they apply the rice water on their five feet long hair. So Yao yeah, women began the rice washing routine by detangling their hair with their head upside down starting from the bottom to the top of their hair using a wooden comb. If you don't have a wooden comb, at least detangle with a wide tooth comb like this one. 
Next, you're gonna need a large bowl so then you can wash your hair in there. So place your hair inside the bowl. Now you're going to pour in small amounts the fermented rice water on your ends first and then soak the middle of your hair and finally cover the entire scalp. Make sure to rinse your scalp with your fingertips and you can totally reapply the remains of the rice water on your hair or scalp if you need to keep rinsing. Now carefully drain some of the rice water out of your hair using your hands in this way. Next, you're gonna leave the rice water sitting on your hair for 20 minutes, which is what Yao women do. They do not cover their hair with anything. However, some of them wrap their hair in this way. When time is up, you're gonna rinse the rice water out of your hair only using distilled or filter water. Yao yeah, women actually wash their hair in the river and their river definitely contains tons of minerals and goodies that your tap water drinks I have. So as you can see, I'm washing my hair very well with eight cups of distilled water to make sure no rice water residue is left on my hair. <coughs> Right after that, towel dry your hair a little bit and then allow your hair to air dry completely like the Yao women do and when your hair gets dry, you have the option to put your hair in this genius Yao hairstyle which is very comfortable and provides tons of volume to your hair at the end so fully recommended to give it a try. My own hair is holding my own hair. <laughs> you put it on the opposite side and now you just wrap your head that's it, you don't need much. I'm gonna use my white tooth comb. They use their wooden comb to keep the hairstyle in place. Just like that. <laughs> Looks good, right? They leave their hair in this hairstyle and that is it. Next time, I will be trying the rice water for the next seven days. So make sure to share some love to this girl by subscribing to this channel right here. Love you all. See you next time. Pura vida. <laughs>